Yes, this is the year where we actually have a leap day, February the 29th, but why is it that we actually have leap days at all? Well, it turns out there's a pretty specific reason. Let's start with the basics. One year equals one trip around the sun equals 365 days, right? Not exactly. This is the actual number for how long it takes to make one revolution around the sun. So let's use this number. If we didn't have leap day, let's do the calculation. The calendar would be off by roughly six hours every single year, and that time adds up. Without leap day, in 100 years, our calendars would be 24 days off. That certainly adds up. So there's a system in place and a solution. We add one day every four years. So we're back on track, right? This is our new yearly average. Problem solved? Not quite. There still is one more thing that we can do. Uh, if we added one day for every four years, our new calculation, the calendar is still off by about 11 minutes every single year. So with this in place in 100 years, our calendars would still be 18 hours off. There's one more thing that's in place, something called leap year hopscotch, and this is how it works. We actually skip a leap year if it falls at the start of the century, unless that year is divisible by 400. And with that in place, this is our new yearly average, which is a lot closer than with just leap day. So with leap day and hopscotch rules, our calendar is still off by 26 seconds every year, but at this rate, it would take over 3,000 years to be one day off. And by then, it's basically somebody else's problem. That's why we have Leap Day.